Turtleneck and chain. Turtleneck and chain. What's up, seventh grade? Welcome to episode one of Turtleneck Math. I wanted to say welcome back uh, because that's so YouTube, but also so wrong because this is the first episode. Anyway, today we're talking the distributive property. The distributive property. The distributive property. If you didn't say that at home, that's a minus two. Anyway, let's jump right into it. So we're looking at our first example. I have five times x plus three. Notice this isn't five times x plus three. This is five times x plus three. It's all in parentheses. What I'm going to do, I'm going to distribute this five over this x as well over the three. I can rewrite this expression as five times x plus five times three. Notice how I just distributed the five over both those terms. Well, we know what five times x is. We're just going to rewrite that as 5x. We don't need those parentheses. Who needs them? Not us. Now I got 5 times 3. That's an easy one. 15. I'm always going to box that final answer. Feingold wrote a check. We're going to box it, Feingold. Thank you. All right, moving on to our next example. Adding in a negative, making it a little bit trickier. I got negative 5 times x plus 3. Well, I'm going to do this the exact same way. I'm going to distribute my negative 5 to the x and my negative 5 over to the positive 3. I'm going to rewrite this now as negative 5 times x plus negative 5 times 3. Well, just like in the last example, negative 5 times x, that's an easy one. We're going to rewrite that as negative 5x plus, I'm thinking right here, I got a negative times a positive. I know in my brain, product of a negative and a positive, that's going to be negative. So rewrite this as plus negative 15. Well, we also know when we have plus a negative number, we can rewrite this again as subtraction of a positive. So I'm just going to write minus 5x minus 15 as my final answer. And remember to box that bad boy. Thank you, Feingold, for doing that. All right, adding on one more layer of complexity. I got 6 minus 5 times x plus 3. Not 6 minus 5 times x plus 3, 6 minus 5 times x plus 3. So, I know what I'm not going to do is subtract 5 from 6, because this 5 is attached to this x plus 3. We can think of this as one giant number right there. So, first I want to rewrite this expression as instead of 6 minus 5, I'm going to write 6 plus negative 5 times x plus 3. Well, we remember from the last problem that we just distribute the negative 5 over both these terms, over the x and the positive 3. So I'm going to rewrite this again. I'm going to write 6 plus negative 5 times x plus negative 5 times 3. Notice how we have that written right here. Well, easy enough. 6 plus negative 5x, because I know negative 5 times x is just negative 5x, plus I got my negative 15. So this is starting to look a lot like the last problem we just did. Well, I have a 6 and a negative 15. I'm going to combine those. I know that the absolute value of negative 15 is greater than the absolute value of 6. So when I add 6 and negative 15, I'm going to get a negative answer. I'm going to find that by taking 15 minus 6. It's going to be 9. And I know it's going to be negative. So I'm going to write negative 9 plus negative 5x. And again, we don't really need 
this plus negative 5x, we can write this as just negative 9 minus 5x, and we're going to box that as our final answer. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to this channel. If you didn't find it helpful, still like and subscribe to this channel because there will be future videos that you will find helpful. And if you found this video to be the worst video you ever watched, then still like and subscribe, but just know you have poor taste in videos. I hope to be making videos like this frequently in the future. So if you have any suggestions for future videos, please comment uh, down below to let me know what you would like to see in future videos. Keep it math related. Check out the links below for some extra practice problems. If you complete those, come show them to me. I might throw you a couple extra credit points. I don't know. Until next time, it's Turtleneck Math signing off. Turtleneck and chain. Turtleneck and chain. Clap.